Hello, Aries, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Thank you very much, Aries, for joining me. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. So for this week's Tarot Reading, what do you need to know about this particular person? And again, this could be someone you had a fallout with. This could be someone new that's just cam coming to your life. Let's see what the cards have to reveal for you, Aries. Also, there will be an extended available. So if this reading does resonate with you at a deep level, there will be an extended where I go further and deeper into to this reading and of course this reading is available to either purchase or to rent and it will be the first link down below in the description box so let's begin Aries let's have a look at your cards what is it that you need to know please actions to take and advice let's have a look. what do we need to know please cards are very jumpy they have a lot to say this week Aries have a look what the light seers have to say excellent one two three what do we have behind the deck we have the world fantastic you're ready to leave everything behind and start a new chapter in your life You've come completely full circle. You've learned all your lessons. You've got more wisdom now. You're a different person compared to what you were a year ago compared to now. No, you're different. You have changed for the better. What else do we have behind? Yeah. The Knight of Wands, there's going to be a transition, an offer, an opportunity coming your way. This is excellent. What else do we have? Six of Swords, you're moving away from turbulent times and into karma waters. Excellent. So you're ready to move on. You're ready to leave everything behind. Any negativity, any toxic energy, you're ready to move on now. Excellent. Let's have a look at the cards, please. Nine of Wands. Let's move this, please. Mm, Queen of Cups. The Emperor. Awesome. Nine of Wands. If we look at the Nine of Wands, this person's standing on guard, very guarded, a little bit defensive. So I can definitely already see in terms of energy, Aries, you're a bit defensive. You don't let anybody, not just anybody, into your inner circle. You may feel a little bit in the sense, I'm going to say even past relationships that have failed, you may be a little bit in the sense guarded, kind of like if someone comes up to you, but like, oh God, what do you want? <laughs> What do you want? Seriously, don't talk to me. That kind of attitude. Just remember with the Nine of Wands, yes, it is the wounded soldier. So you've had your battles, you've gone through quite a few setbacks in the past, but you're not giving up on love because this wand is still lit, this fire here. So despite everything, you're not giving up on love. However, you don't just give your cup to anybody, do you? No. If you see with the Queen of Cups, you don't just offer your heart to anybody. No, you have boundaries. You have certain values that you want to see in a person. But here we also have Aries too. Aries energy, the emperor, like literally all the kings wrapped up in one. It's like the literally the ultimate king. You're a natural born leader, definitely. A leader, you're not afraid to make decisions. You're not afraid to take action. And for those who feel like, oh, um, this sounds nothing like me, well, to be the emperor, we have to be disciplined, we have to be structured, we have to be that ultimate person to stand up for ourselves. So overall, great energy here, Aries. I do like it that you do have boundaries, like you're not, you're not just giving your heart to anybody. But I will say just definitely with the nine of wands, just lower your walls, you know, bring down your walls. It's okay. Don't keep everybody at an arm's distance. Start to bring people into your life. Let's see. Mm, magician. Chariot. Seven of Pentacles. Interesting. There is definitely someone that wants to come towards you. We have the magician, Gemini and Virgo energy. This person has the power to manifest anything. They have all the tools and resources to literally do anything. So think about this. Like this person... When I say they can do anything, I'm not afraid if they need to go up to you and speak to you, ask you out, whatever it is. No. 
they're not afraid to say, let's move in, let's travel, let's have a family, whatever it is. They're not afraid to do anything. As you can see here with the chariot, cancer energy. They're coming towards you, Aries. Oh, yeah. This person's very adventurous. I want to start a journey. This person may be very well traveled, maybe a foreigner, because remember, the chariot is a very big travel card. They're coming towards you. We also have the Seven of Pentacles. If you look at the Seven of Pentacles, it's the investment card. This person wants to invest their time with you. There are roots spreading at the bottom. So this situation is bearing roots. So you can definitely trust this person. They're not here to play games or to break your heart. No, they definitely do mean well. Interesting. Let's have a look at the bottom, please. Mm-hmm. We have the fastest moving night. Nine of Swords, Four of Cups. See, Aries, you're willing to take a chance on this person with the Knight of Swords. This person, again, we do have the fastest moving knight. We have the chariot. This person will be moving very, very fast towards you. And I, I feel also, Aries, you're not going to be afraid to take a chance. At the same time, Aries, and I need to point this out, at night, especially at night, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of anxiety. You may be blaming yourself. You may be saying hurtful things about yourself. And again, this is such a mental card. As you can see, the birds up in the air, it's such a mental card. Be careful what you listen to, Aries. Not everything is what it seems to be. If you're telling yourself that you're not good enough, no. Start to think at a more subconscious level here. Start to think more beyond. Don't think just here, what's in the reality. Think beyond. Because I can also see with the Four of Cups, yeah, you're bored. You're not feeling like yourself, but here along comes this opportunity with this cup. And your spirit team are urging you, Aries, look around. Keep your head up because it's just above the Seven of Pentacles. There's opportunities all around you. You just need to lift your head up, look around. There's definitely someone here. Bring down your walls. Bring down your negative thoughts because that can act as a block. We don't want that. No, absolutely not. Let's have a look. Let's clarify this reading. Let's find out more about this reading. Overall, though, Aries, you have great cards. You've got really good cards. There is definitely someone coming towards you very fast, cancer energy, maybe a water sign or an air sign also because you have the knight of swords. But I'm interested. What else do we need to know about this reading? So if this reading does resonate at a deep level, Aries, there will be an extended available where you can either rent or you can purchase it. And I will be going a lot deeper because I want to find out more about this person right here with the chariot. <laughs> Okay, let's find out. What else do we need to know about this person, please? Let's give Aries some clarity, some guidance. What else does Aries need to know about this person, please? One, two, three. Mm -hmm. See, behind this deck, we do have the seven of swords along with the investment card, the seven of pentacles. So usually the seven of swords, I need to clarify it because if you look at the seven of swords, this person, what are they doing? They're stealing the sword. It's about lying, stealing, cheating. Now, because it's also accompanied with the seven of pentacles, it does mean that this person's going to be very quiet about this relationship. Tell anybody because they want to see for themselves. How is this going to work out? So it's not necessarily a negative card. We also have Capricorn energy with the devil here. So be, definitely be careful with your thoughts here, Aries. Try not to overthink too much. Try to take care of your body, take care of your physical mind. Because sometimes when the devil, not always is the devil a very a, a challenging card. It's just giving you a heads up in the sense, be careful how you think about yourself. Because that's not true. That's not you, Aries. So the nine of wands also with justice. Mm -hmm. 
So what do we know about justice? It's liberal energy. It's bringing balance. You bring down your walls. You start to bring more balance in your life. Because at this, this moment, there's a bit of an imbalance because we have our walls up. Even though you still have that passionate fire energy with the nine of wands, it's okay to bring down your walls so you can start bringing more balance into your life. So yes, you can have your career, but also have that make that time to have fun, Aries. Time for you. Do it. Yes. The Queen of Cups, also with the Three of Wands. Interesting. So your ship is definitely coming, Aries. You've been waiting a long time. There has been delays, absolutely. There have been delays in meeting the right person. You know, like I can definitely say that you haven't been meeting great people lately. There's been delays, absolutely. If anything, you've been meeting like just people you haven't been connecting with. And as you can see with the Queen of Cups, she's got her arm up. It's like, no, thank you. I'll pass. Your ship is definitely coming. There's been delays, absolutely. Just be a little bit more patient. The Emperor. What do we have with the Emperor? Again, this is a mental card. The Eight of Swords. You're feeling trapped, feeling imprisoned, feeling unable to move. Again, just this is like being up in your head, listening to your negative thoughts. No, start to think at a subconscious level. Think about what is it that you really want? What do you want? See it in your mind's eye because at the moment you're just seeing the things that you don't want. For example, perhaps I don't want to be single or I don't want to be unmarried. I don't want to say like unmarried, whatever it is. Be careful with your thoughts because remember with the emperor, you can have it all. Absolutely. Remember the emperor? Aries energy, the ultimate leader, the magician. Also with the two of swords, this person needs to make a decision. So ultimately they're thinking, oh, what should I do? Should I go after Aries? They're thinking back and forth, thinking back and forth, and also contemplating, being strategic. How can they do that with the chariot? Mm. So here we have the King of Swords. So now we have a Divine Masculine here. So the King of Swords, again, this is someone that's Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Libra is here also. So there could be strong signs of Libra energy. But the King of Swords, again, this person, they're not here to play games. They're not here to waste your time, Aries. No, they mean business. And the King of Swords can, this person can come from a background of, for example, a doctor it can be someone like a politician, a soldier, maybe someone in the military, perhaps. They're very, they're natural born leaders, definitely. And they, they're usually in positions of high responsibility. So if you were to think of like someone like that runs a country, perhaps someone that's very responsible, it could be something simple as running a business. They're very, very responsible. They're very structured. And the sword is pointing down. So yes, they are thinking thinking a lot about you. Absolutely. They want to invest in you with the seven of pentacles, also with the 10 of swords here. So interesting. 10 of swords is like literally hitting rock bottom. Like this person does have a few wounds that they need to work on in the past. And I can see Aries, how much do you know about this person's past? Have they been open to you enough to talk about past relationship? Because there's definitely some backstabbing here that they experience from perhaps a certain ex. And I feel like they still carry these wounds. They probably don't talk about it. They probably don't show it, but it's there. It's there. There may have been issues between the both of you, the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords. There may have been conflict, letdowns, heartbreak. We look at the Knight of Swords, also with the Ten of Pentacles. This person wants to open their home. They want to share their life. Ultimately, they want to take care of you. This person wants to protect you, be there, and be a provider. The Nine of Swords, also with the Hierophant. Mm. See, the Hierophant is the card of commitment. Are you worried? Are you questioning this person's loyalty, their commitment? Because I feel perhaps you, Aries, you've have you've probably have been let down by a certain someone in the past when it came to commitment. There may have been a marriage breakdown because the Hierophant shows, again, commitment, someone getting married at a church. There may have been, yeah, some trauma there. 
The hybrid fence is a very traditional card. So this is already telling me, it's just above the king of swords. This person is quite traditional in the sense they may believe in God. They may be religious. They may believe in marriage, perhaps. People do, some people don't. It is. It comes down to personal choice, but they have really strong old values. And again, this person's here to commit the Four of Cups also with the Five of Pentacles. The thing is, Aries, I feel that you don't want to take this person back. There's a lot of gray area here. You're not ready to, like I said before, with the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups shows that you've got really, really strong boundaries. Very, very strong boundaries. There's been some ups and downs with this person, between you and this person. And even though you're bo bored, I feel though, Aries, you'd rather be on your own instead of with this person because the Five of Pentacles shows that there's rejection. There is, like, I don't feel like, even though this person is coming in very, very strong towards you, Aries, ultimately, mm, it's like you're not feeling it. You're not very, very sure about this person. There's a lot of stress too. There may be been issues with commitment. Like perhaps this person wasn't available enough for you. What else? Yeah, so we do have the Ten of Cups. You want someone to be there. That's what you want. You want someone to be there, especially in the home. That's what you're missing. That's what you're craving. What else? We also have the Nine of Pentacles. Ultimately, it's like you'd rather be on your own because on your own, you are your own person, you make your own money, you, you are a celebration of your life here. I'm, st I'm still thinking there's a bit of a gray area here because also with the Six of Cups, you miss them. You miss the fun times. You're feeling a little bit melancholic, Aries. You're feeling that, gosh, things were so much better in the past. The past was always amazing. You're just remembering the good old times. So there's a lot of gray area here in regards to this person, this king of swords. And again, this person had the ten of swords. You've got the nine of swords. You've also had the eight of swords. There's definitely friction. There's conflict between the both of you. There's something where it's, there's something that's not working out. It's causing a little an imbalance. It's causing you to have your walls up. Now, again, this could be a situation where there's issues with finances. Perhaps this person is not handling their money properly because also with the five of pentacles shows that there could be money hemorrhaging somewhere, money that's been lost somewhere. So definitely, yeah, I want to find out more about this person, about this king of swords. Why is it that you're not, you're not feeling 100% with this person? Because with the four of cups, you're bored. If anything, you're thinking about the past. Especially, especially with the Four of Cups and the um, the Six of Cups. You're really stuck in the past. And we have a few challenging mind cards here, especially with the Nine and the Eight of Swords. We're feeling trapped and imprisoned. So Aries, we will be doing an extended on this person to find out more about their intentions and anything else you need to know. There will be the first link down below. Overall though, Aries, what I will say with the outcome, if you don't know what to do, the best thing you can do is not do anything. Let things unfold on their own. If you're so sure that you don't want to be with this person, listen to your heart then because there is a gray area here. You don't feel that you want to take this person back. If, it, if anything, you can kind of like see that you kind of like want to reject this person. You want to just be on your own. You have a problem. I'm sure you have your reasons why. Overall, this was still a great reading. You're following your heart and you've got strong boundaries. Thank you very much, Aries, for joining me. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you at the next reading. Bye for now.